Hey guys, it's Jazz Plans and welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you guys some really cute and aesthetic ways to design your phone using the new iOS 14 update. This is just going to be a really quick and easy tutorial and with that being said, let's just get on to the video. The first thing that you want to do is find a really nice wallpaper. I would recommend going on this website and it's called Grafolio. And so when you scroll down, you can see a lot of really pretty and nice wallpapers for your phones. And they pretty much have everything that you want. Uh, you can search for anything and see what pops up or you can just browse around and see whatever you like. Now, if you still don't find anything, we're going to go to pretty much what every YouTuber recommends and that is to go on Pinterest. So the next thing that you want to do is download the Widget Smith app. So we're going to go ahead and launch the Widget Smith app and it has many different types of widgets. You can choose a small, a medium, or a large type of widget. And you can choose from calendars to photos to reminders, health and activity, astronomy, and notes. So here I'm just going to be showing you guys that I'm creating a blue theme with a small photo widget. And I'm going to go ahead and choose the photo. For the calendar, there's many different types of fonts and styles that you can choose from as well as what color you'd like for the text and also for the background color and you can also choose the tint color. Okay, so we're going to head back to the home screen and you're going to hold down your phone and you're going to see the little plus sign on the top left and you're going to go ahead and search for the widget. Mine happens to be at the top. And I'm going to click the small widget and you're going to go ahead and click that and click the widget icon and then choose whatever widget that you want. I didn't rename it so that's why it said small number one and small number two. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the shortcuts. The shortcuts app is built onto the phone so you can go ahead and just swipe down and search for the shortcuts and you're going to go ahead and click the plus sign on the top right and you're going to go ahead and click add shortcut and you're going to want to search for open app and then go ahead and choose whatever type of app you would like to decorate for this round we're going to go ahead and choose spotify so once you're done with that you're going to go ahead and click next and rename it however you want and click done you're going to be back on the home page and go ahead and click the shortcut again Again and click the three dots at the top and you're going to want to click add to home screen now you're going to go ahead and choose the photo that you want to use for the app and you can rename it if you'd like i'm just going to keep mine the same and once you click add it's going to be on your home screen and you can go ahead and drag that wherever you would like i'm just going to do it on the dock and what you can do is you can delete the app from your home screen but without actually deleting the app itself you're just going to want to click move to app library and as you can see it disappears and you can move the shortcut icon to wherever you want and your app that you just deleted is still on your app library if you swipe all the way to the right your app library will pop up and you can just search for it and your original app will be right there one thing to note is that if you do decide to do these shortcuts, if you click on the icon that you just made, it doesn't take you directly to the app. It will actually direct you to the shortcut app for a split second and then redirect you to the normal app. So if that bothers you, then this may not be for you. But if it's not too much of a bother, then go ahead and do it. And that's all the tips and tricks I have today for the new iOS 14 update. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a like and comment. If you want to stay around for more of this type of content, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. And thanks so much for watching.